What exactly is antimatter and why does it annihilate with matter? The existence of both matter and antimatter is rooted in both quantum mechanics and the nature of space-time. One way to think about it is to first consider a vacuum in space. Instinctively, our nature is to assume that space is empty. If you put a particle there, we can say that the particle is associated with some energy, as per E equals mc squared, due to its mass at rest. Thus, we associate a vacuum with zero energy and the presence of matter and energy as positive or greater than zero. However, the vacuum can also have states of negative energy, less than zero. For example, take the energy of an electron particle, but remove it from the vacuum. Then the vacuum has lost some energy and there is a hole there. There is an absence of some of that negative energy with a removed negative charge of the electron particle that was taken out. This hole now will appear like a particle that has positive charge and with all the same attributes of the positron. In other words, antimatter. In fact, we can think of the vacuum of space as being a vast bottomless sea of negative energy. How would an electron, for example, be removed from the vacuum? This requires energy. A high energy photon, like a gamma ray, can be used to knock out an electron, turning it into a conventional positive energy electron particle. Additionally, this would leave a hole in the negative vacuum energy, an absence of negative charge, which would manifest as a positively charged positive energy particle, the positron. Conversely, if the electron and positron recombine, the hole is filled and the high energy photon energy is released again. Higher energies can knock out even more negative energy from the vacuum to produce even heavier particles. Notice that there is also a symmetry to this action, since we expect that for any matter that is created, there is associated antimatter to balance out the energy. Antimatter particles exhibit a symmetry between positive and negative charges, and every particle has an associated antiparticle. Even a photon with zero charge has an antiparticle, being itself. Photons are their own antiparticles.